Hi friends, uh, welcome to TechLake video tutorials. Uh, this session I am going to explain about on composite partitioning in Oracle. Uh, previous sessions we have already covered on range partition, list partition and hash partitioning. So this session I am going to explain about the combination of more than one partitioning. Like how we can go for creating a composite partitioning and when we can go for creating this partitioning. Like uh, if we have a requirement huge data then still uh, like if you have already divided as a range partitioning or maybe some other partitioning but still you are getting a, a more time to take the data from your database so that time we can go for uh, sub partitions uh, that is called uh, composite partitioning so if, if you look at this screen i have a sample example on range hash and uh, range list partitioning not only these two we can go for other partitions as well based on your requirement so if you look at this example uh, January and February we have already divided the data but still it is taking a longer time what we can do those data again we can go for sub partitioning like uh, list partitioning like if you have a region wise data those data you can divide as a sub partitioning as list partitioning so that time you will be getting more faster compared to uh, normal partitioning that is called composite partitioning so if you look at this examples, I have a two examples for one is a range list and range hash. Dropping the existing table which I have already. If you look at this, what I am doing, I am creating a partition here. I am creating a partition here with a range and list. So a range is a main partitioning and a sub partition by list you can see here. By high date and a sub partition by department number so the main partition is divided as a uh, less than like if you are going for a particular date range and the data partition data again is divided into sub partitions as list partition by four sub partitions you can see here like this four main partitions as range and four individual again sub partitions on main partition you can see here like this we can go for creating partitions with sub partitions that we will call as composite partitioning let's create this table again i'm inserting data into this table come with the data so do the gather stats you'll get a more clarity if you look at uh, metadata actually main uh, metadata where we can verify this so i'm um, uh, this is my table if you go to your partitions now this is my main partition range partition Again, this partition has been divided into four sub partitions. You can see here, those are again based on list of values. So, this 15 records has been divided into four sub partitions. You can see here, like this, we can go for creating a range list, range has, range range, same thing, vice versa. We can go for a list range, list has, list list, like this, we can go for creating composite partitions okay you can go for composite partitions like if you have a huge data on particular partition again if you are looking for a particular department then you will get a very uh, faster compared to normal partitions that is called multiple partitions that is composite creating partitions with sub partitions same thing you can go for hash partition as well same thing you can go for range hash so this is my table with the range partition high date and the sub partition by as hash partition you can see here employee number and those are four sub partitions have divided here and each partition again divided divided by into sub partition as four sub partitions let's create the table insert the data some of this now we can verify the table structure same thing here also it will be each partition will be divided into four sub partitions. So here sub partition I am not provided the name that's why it is a taken default system name. If you look at system name, if you look at this, so normally uh, partitions name system will be created as sys underscore p. P means partition and increment value that is integer value. For sub partitions it will be created as sys underscore sub p sub partitions then integer integer value like this. It will be created sub partitions. For every partition will be divided into four sub partitions. You can see here. Okay. Then if you are looking at if you are looking at 
for example if you are going for cost based uh, optimizer you can see here total partitions you can see 16 because we have created only four partitions again each partition is created as a four sub partition that's why you can see here four and four total 16 partitions this is partition range and partition hash okay like this is the way you can verify in uh, while running your explain plan there you will get more clarity on partitions and then when you are fetching your data so it will go to, go to your particular sub partition and you will be getting data very fast compared to normal partitions so this is the way we can go for creating partitions as well as sub partitions okay then once you are done you can go for creating uh, like doing the compression on those partitions as well as creating local and global indexes let's we'll discuss on other sessions on uh, indexes like how we'll create a partition indexes like uh, local indexes and global indexes so this is the way we can go for improving performance on uh, reporting uh, level uh, where if you have a huge tables data that we can divide that data as a partitions then we can create a uh, local or global indexes then we can go for compression uh, in 12c we can find a hcc that is a hybrid compression that also you can uh, it will give a good performance as well as uh, it will save the data uh, base size it will whatever you have a storage space it will uh, it will save even more space for example we have one terabyte as uh, table if you compress after that the after compression it will be coming as around 200 gb or 250 gb you can save at least 75 to 80 percent space you can save that after uh, like doing the hcc compression like this we can go for creating a partition tables and uh, uh, creating a sub partitions as well as uh, creating the indexes on partition tables as well as doing the compression so this is the way we can go for creating a partitions so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates my channel thank you very much